everyone, it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels and I'm here with your card readings for the coming week. These are general readings, so take from them everything that resonates with you, leave behind anything else, but most importantly, enjoy a really positive week. I'll be using my teacup tarot deck and later on, I will clarify with my Time to Shine deck. Leo, here are your cards for this week, starting the 6th of November. And from the Teacup Tarot deck, your overall energy is card 13. New beginnings, exactly what it says on the card. This is a card of transformation. This is the card of new chapters opening up and wonderful new beginnings. Your help or your hurdle, the page of teacup steps up. Now the pages all bring a message and the page of teacups brings a message of love, joy and happiness. The page also could be somebody new stepping in and the start of a lovely new friendship or relationship. Trust your intuition on that. This intuition's getting stronger and it's there to help you. Your guidance here, the King of Wands steps in. Now the King's authority figures in the deck and the King of Wands absolutely personifies confidence, self-belief, success. The King of Wands is really successful because they've learned how to be. It's very much a business-like and entrepreneurial type of energy with this card. And the success that they've achieved, they are happy to share with other people. So this could be you stepping up into a leadership role with a how-to plan for other people. Or it could be somebody coming in with those skills to help you. How can you help yourself? The Empress card says, better get busy. Start working on those new ideas, those new projects. Look, she's got her apron on, she's got her sleeves rolled up and she's busy. This is the card of action. Not just thinking about it, talking about it. It's busy doing. Pulling it all together, the Knight of Coins comes in. And the knights are generally fast moving energy. They all have a motorbike. The knight of coins is the only one not riding theirs because look, she's studying the map. So this is the card of planning. Plan A, plan B, and if necessary, plan C. And what she's doing here, look, she's gathering all this information, making a plan so that when she gets back on the bike, not only does she know where she's going, she knows how to get there. So detailed planning is key for you this week. And the eight of coins on the back of that is about taking care of all those small details. So your plans are here and they need to be very detailed. Look here, she's putting those final little details onto these little cakes she's made. And those are the things that make all the difference in the world. So we're talking about dotting the I's, crossing the T's, reading the small print twice, taking care of all those tiny details. So let's get a little bit more clarity Whoops. from the Time to Shine deck. Here we are. The Eight of Thought, lovely. A mindfulness card right next to this New Beginnings card that says time to break free from negativity, believe in yourselves and move forward towards positive new things. Now, look, she's got this red balloon and it's full of negative thoughts. She's just about to pop that with a pin because she's had a delivery from the self-belief company saying, oh, yes, I can. That needs to be your mantra this week. And falling next to the King of Wands, it's beautiful, because he also says, 
Yes, you absolutely can. A four of wisdom is the card of organisation. We're talking about that here, making plans. So here you are busy with that, stepping up into that role, making plans, staying disciplined, making sure everything is in order. The three of wisdom, look, we've got a double message, same card, different deck. Just as I was saying here, taking action, getting busy, starting work on those new ideas and those new projects. The three of thought is beautiful. It's about healing and moving on. It's very much a card of talking things over, but knowing that the situation will improve and it's moving on in a new direction going beautifully with this new beginnings card. The six of emotion is a card of the past. So it's remembering the past with love. And it's also considering what you always wanted to do. There might be a new opportunity this week. Here's your help in getting that plan together. Something that you weren't able to do before might be coming round again. The timing might be just right. And the six of life is about gifts of abundance coming in. These are the things you've been hoping for, dreaming of, manifesting. So it could be a new job, a new career, a new area of study. It could be a pay rise. Something that you've been wanting for your home and your family. So keep your eyes open. The universe is ready to deliver these to your front door. So. Looking at the reading overall, your mindfulness homework, getting busy, doing, making detailed plans, getting organised, getting all the small print in order, moving on, moving forward, because here's your fantastic new beginning, happiness and joy coming in, a how-to plan on moving forward in the direction that you want to go. This is the inspiration. This is the confidence. This is the know-how. Not letting any old negativity or anybody else's hold you back. And here you are, enjoying the gifts from the universe and this fabulous new beginning. So thank you for listening. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week. Take care now and I'll see you here again soon.